What is going on guys, it's Elijah here for Recaps, and today I'm back with another Carolina Panthers video, and today we are talking about defensive end or pass rusher Marcus Haynes signs, I believe, a two-year deal with the Carolina Panthers. Uh, he was a former fourth-round pick, uh, so he's signed a two-year deal, so let's go ahead and click on the link, and this is from uh, Darren Gannett, or Gant, Derek Gant, and uh, so... Um, so yeah, the Carolina Panthers held some defensive line in depth, and uh, which they definitely needed. And uh, do they say anything about his particular deal? I guess they didn't. All right, so so clearly it's uh, a two-year deal. And uh, Marcus Haynes honestly is an underrated player. Uh, he was a more of a depth fill-up guy. Uh, honestly, he did really well uh, as a backup defensive end or the backup defensive uh, tackle type player. And uh, he's he, he did really well uh, for a backup starter. Uh, he is probably un overlooked, in my opinion. He's underrated, and a lot of Panther fans like Marcus Haynes. He, he uh, will be uh, welcome back, and it just, it's awesome to see him uh, come back after free agency. And uh, unless this is a move where they sign Marcus Haynes, and apparently there are rumors that Brian Burns possibly will be in the package deal to send him off to get Deshaun Watson. But overall, Marcus Haynes, welcome back. And honestly, he is a good defensive player. No, though he didn't really have that many tackles, but he still contributed when he played uh, and, and, and as well. So he actually, he's progressed every single year by like two tackles uh, after his uh, second year. Uh, actually, he had four tackles and he had two tackles this year. So overall, he had 20 uh, combined tackles. He had nine solo. He had 11 assists. He had three tackles. Uh, for loss, which is really good in my opinion. He's also had five QB hits, so honestly, that's still impressive. He had one or two tackles every game. So this is also uh, a PFF grade from Marcus Haynes. And, I, you know, honestly, I'm going to start using PFF. I actually kind of like PFF, though they are a little bit biased towards the Carolina Panthers and, of course, the Tar Heels. So that's where sometimes I'm a little skeptical, but I do like PFF and their grading system. I don't know how it works, but it works. All right, so... Uh, apparently, what they said they, uh, that this year he had 11 solo tackles, six assists, three sacks, and zero forced fumbles. But his overall grade as a backup player was 71.3, and that is why that he um, is going. He and that's why they signed him uh, to a two-year deal. So I think he's a good player. I think he's a good pass rusher, and uh, honestly, that's good signing for us, especially on the D line because we just lost uh, Daquan Jones. Who was actually a really good uh, defensive tackle, and of course we also lost Hassan Reddick, who I guess was a one-year rental. And so yeah, there you guys have it, uh, Marcus Haynes. Uh, thank, uh, uh, just welcome back. And uh, yeah, uh, Marcus Haynes signs a two-year deal with the Carolina Panthers and returns to Carolina for next year. All right, guys, football recaps here, uh, and comment below what you guys think about this signing and who we should sign besides Deshaun Watson in the trade deal. Anyone else out there that the Panthers should sign or look at, let me know in the comments below. All right, guys, keep pounding, and peace out.